Bailey, not only one finger. There we go. Come here, give me a pose. The Adventures of Kaylee Quatermain Jones Croft. Hi, I'm Bob, your tour guide for the Adventures. We just call her Kaylee because she has too many last names as a descendant of many an adventure. Bone Show. Kaylee Bone Show. Your other name? Daddy likes to call you Kaylee Jones Cross. And don't forget me, Minnie Nathan Drake. I'm here for the adventure as well. <laughs> Is that how you feel about me? Point in its free hands out, slips and grab onto their food. Can act like a finger behind this bamboo. You watching everything? Uh, coming up over here on the left, there's two different types of antelope. The darker, kind of chestnut colored ones, those are bongos. The bongos nickname is the ghost of the forest as a hideaway in the trees most of the time, so those horns have to make their way through the thick brush. Only the male greater kudu has horns. So both the bongo and they are so large they sometimes have trouble swimming. So most of the time you find them walking along the bottom of the river back sand during mating season. There can be anywhere from 20 to 200 nesting pairs in the same area. So we are just going to wait right here until these drafts can move on out of the way. We are being stopped by this little baby one up here. Can you send your pictures to your to a Whoa. Well, baby giraffes are born at six feet tall. They have to be that tall to reach the mother's belly. What do you think of these giraffes, Kaylee? They're lightly colored compared to the rest of those spots. They start to get older. Baby giraffes blocking that way. They're being blocked by a baby giraffe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Long legs. So elephants are terrified of bees. Here's a baby. See the picture of the baby. Oh, there's the baby. Oh. Also, there's the a baby. Is he at the baby? Baby flamingos are gray, so they get that pink coloration from all of the brine shrimp that they eat, which is full of beta carotene. So it takes them roughly a year or two to turn that color. See a lot of them stand up on one leg. That means they're relaxed. But if you ever see a bird, with its beak under, under its wing, like most of them right now, it means they're asleep. <laughs> the horns grow about three to six inches a year. Lions have pretty good eyesight. Their eyesight's about the same as ours during the daytime, but it's about 20 times better at night. They usually start roaring right after they catch their prey, or sometimes around death. I was a proud wart hog. Whoa, bouncy. See if it's helpful to try to save that species. Their population is back up on a rise right now, but the only place to find them are on reserves. But they're just a little bit better protected. Too bright for you, Kaylee?
apparently Kaylee is a master of interpretive African breakdancing. Kaylee learns the customs of the local tribes to fit in. Lens flare, JJ Abrams would be proud. All these scarves are hung as offerings to this ancient tree. No climbing. Oh, it's a broken mouth. Look like a dragon. Look like a rock dragon. <laughs> Gotta get out of here? Okay, let's go. Apparently she senses something quite disturbing about this artifact. Can you read the hieroglyphics on this? Does it mean anything? It's nothing? It's a big rock. Oh. Are these big bones? The cat is going to eat us. Oh, so there'll be no night lodging for Kaylee here. Coca Cola. The worldwide sensation. Kayla, look. We have located something like that. Do you see what it is? It's Everest. We've located it. I believe if we stand right here, it reveals itself behind it. Let's go, Kaylee. The adventure continues. Kaylee wonders what this big auditorium's for. It doesn't seem to be of much use right now. It's opening soon, right? Any day now. Soon. According to the app. The mosquitoes are bad in Africa. He's adorable. So is he. At long last, I've made it to Everest. Unfortunately, Kaylee the adventurer cannot partake in this ride. This part of the adventure is too rough for her mere 38 inch frame. But the main reason is there's yetis on this expedition. The yeti is real. There she is.
day trip up and down the mountain of Everest. Now to communicate with Explorer Kaylee. She is at base camp with Grandma. Hey you. How you doing Explorer Kaylee? She was very Can you upset. say to Daddy why I didn't have to be Yetis? Can you say that? Why? Go. Can you say why did it have to be Yetis? It has. Say it. Why? So put it. Go. Why did it have to be Yetis? Yes, that white put the melon on pass. Yes. <laughs> She's answering your question. Okay. Can you say why did it have to be Yetis? It's pass. Yeah. Because. <laughs> that white had Yetis. Yetis. Puppy Yetis, what you might have said. Why did it have to be Yetis? <laughs> that white put it. That's why I broke it? <laughs> Can you say that, honey? Go, why did it have to be Yetis? Say, why did it have to be Yetis? Just say Yetis. 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 Why did it have to be Yetis, Kaylee? 